Hi, welcome to this short Warrior 2 tutorial class. As always, I'd like to start with a meditation. Find a comfortable seat, rest your hands on your knees or in your lap and close your eyes. Bring your awareness to your body. Just taking a moment to check in. How are you feeling today? How is your body? And how is your breath? Allow everything to slow down a little bit. The breath becomes slower. The physical body melts down a little bit more. Bring your awareness to your feet and your hips, wherever your weight is resting. Imagine those points melting down even more, becoming heavier, softer, Deepen your breath. And imagine you melting down so much that you're starting to root into the earth. Your ankles, your sit bones are growing down, are connecting you to the earth, are grounding you. Feel how much stability that brings you, being grounded, connected to the earth. Feeling the lightness in your upper body, your head as if it's drifting up to the sky, shoulders soft, arms relaxed. As much as your lower body is relaxing down, your upper body is floating upwards, becoming lighter, softer. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Bow your head to your hands. Take an extra deep inhale, open your mouth, sigh it out, slowly open your eyes, lift your head. Are you ready for some warrior fierceness? Grab your mat and let's start standing. I'm not using a mat today, but imagine my mat being in this way, in the length. So come to the front of your mat. Bring your hands together in front of your heart and just reconnect to the ground. Close your eyes for a moment. Feel the soles of your feet grounding down. Take a few slow, deep breaths. Spread your toes. And again, imagine those roots growing from the soles of your feet down into the ground, giving you that super solid base that stability. Blink your eyes open, inhale. As you exhale, step your right foot back, turn the foot open, bring your hands on your hips for this first one. Bend your front knee, so your left foot and knee are pointing to the front of the mat. The back foot is to the side and the leg is extended. Hands on your hips, turn your hips open as much as is possible for you without allowing that knee to fall inwards. If you look at it from the front, that knee likes to go like this, which isn't great for your tendons. So keep using your butt muscles, your glutes, to pull your knee open 
that not only engages your legs, but also creates a beautiful straight alignment for your knee. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, deepen your pose a little bit, bend your knee more, but also pull your core in, pull your belly in, slightly tucking your tailbone. Lift your arms sideways at shoulder height, look over your front hand. Allow every inhale to bring a little bit more length in your spine. And every exhale, a little bit more softness in the shoulders as you engage your lower body. Inhale, lengthens. Exhale, imagine your two feet wanting to go towards each other, squeezing inwards. That should really activate your hamstrings and your adductors. One more breath. Next inhale, turn your left palm. Reach up and back for reverse warrior. Keep bending your left knee. Keep your core engaged. This is a side bend, not a back bend. So you should feel that in your left side. Your right hand can lean on your back leg. Lengthen your spine even more on the inhale. Exhale, keep squeezing your legs together. Maybe look up to the ceiling. One more breath. Next inhale, come back up and step forward. Switching sides, step your left foot back. I'm gonna turn around for this one so I can still see you. Your right knee is pointing to the front of your mat and your toes are in line with your knee. Remember to squeeze your right butt cheek to pull your knee open. Your left leg is extended, hands on your hips, making sure your hips are as open as possible without letting that knee sink inwards. So pull it back to the right. Hands float up to shoulder level. Inhale, lengthen your spine even more. Exhale, deepen your pose, bend your knee a little bit more and start to engage your core, pulling your belly in, tucking your tailbone. Keep your shoulders soft, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, engage your feet, squeeze your feet towards each other, waking up the inner thighs, the hamstrings. One more breath. As you inhale, turn the front palm. As you exhale, reverse your warrior, leaning back, finding that side bend, yet still bending your right knee. So don't let it straighten. Keep breathing here, look up maybe, finding that length in your right side body. One more. And then slowly come back up and step forward. Shake out your legs. Maybe make little circles with your knees. That can feel quite nice for your hips. Let's put this in a mini flow, just so you can feel the nice opening of the hip and engagement of the legs. So stand at the front of your mat, hands together in front of your heart. Close your eyes for a moment. Taking slow, deep breaths. Finding that connection to the earth. As you inhale, bring your weight onto your left foot. Lift your arms, lift your right knee. Stay here, breathe. Pull your knee into your chest as much as you can with your leg muscles. As you inhale, open the knee to the side, bend your standing leg and slow motion, step that foot backwards. As controlled as you can, open your arms. Find your warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, squeeze your legs towards each other, soften the shoulders. Inhale, turn the palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Keep bending your knee. Inhale here. Exhale, come back up, straighten your front leg. Keep your hips in that same alignment. This might be slightly different alignment than what you're used to, but it's okay, both are good. Keep both legs engaged 
like crazy. Keep your core in, lift your arms sideways, inhale. Lean forward, bring your hand to right underneath your knee and your other hand to the sky. Inhale here, feel the stretch on your right side body. Exhale, maybe deepen a little bit more. But for this one, it's not important that your hand is next to your foot. One more breath here. Inhale, reach up to the sky and then forward. Bring your arm down, step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Walk out your legs. Crack your ankles and your toes. My toes always want to crack in between. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot in between your hands. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your left foot forward and fold. Slowly uncurl your spine, bring your arms up overhead, inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart. The other side, bring your weight onto your right foot. Find your balance. Inhale, lift your left leg, lift your arms. Exhale, shoulders wide, engage your core. Inhale, turn your knee to the side. Bend your standing leg and slow motion, step it back to warrior two. Arm shoulder level. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, squeeze your legs towards each other. Keep working your butt to pull your knee towards the right. Inhale, turn your right palm. Exhale, reverse. Stay here, inhale, exhale, straighten your front leg, hands at shoulder level, keep your legs super engaged so you're not hanging in your joints, inhale, lengthen forward, bring your hand right underneath your knee on your shin, inhale, look up to your left hand, making sure your torso is over your leg, inhale here, exhale, reach your arm forward, Place it down, step it back, downward facing dog. One extra breath here. Making sure you crack whatever you need to crack. Sorry, a little strelitzia. Inhale, lift your left leg. Careful of your plants. <laughs> Exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot forward. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold and step your other foot forward. Uncurl your spine. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. And that's how you start your day, feeling super strong in your legs and feeling super light in your upper body. Feel free to take a child's pose or a shavasana if you have time. And I hope to see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.